On October 21, 2018, Stephanie Willis and her 10-year-old son, Ricky Ryan Willis, were murdered by her boyfriend, Tyrone Johnson, in the Hillsborough County home they shared in Florida. Johnson claimed in his interrogation video that they had an argument over the TV and that Stephanie had blamed him for his son's suicide. The video shows clear victim blaming. Hysterical murder defendant breaks down as he's questioned by police about the killing of his girlfriend and her 10-year-old son. That's what the jury saw today in the double murder trial of Tyrone Johnson. Prosecutors say Johnson planned the murders. His defense attorneys say a recording of the police interview shows something else, though. Fox 13's Glory Gomez shows us how investigators today handled it. Tyrone Johnson cried hysterically during his interview with investigators. The jury watched as detectives tried to calm him down repeatedly and struggled to understand what he was saying about the day he gunned down his girlfriend, Stephanie Willis, and her 10-year-old son, Ricky. Both were found dead in a bedroom apartment they shared with Johnson. Prosecutors say the horrific events of October 21st, 2018, all began with an argument over what to watch on TV. I changed the TV. You changed the TV? To football. Okay. Johnson continued to break down as he claimed the fight turned personal when Stephanie blamed him for his son's recent suicide. She said, I see why the son killed himself like Because you were a And I called him back. And I said, go and get me. Johnson called his father for help and heard some of the confrontation. And he hears the phone drop and two shots. Johnson claims the boy came running into the master bedroom. Did he say you hurt my mommy? <laughs> Is that what he said? Yes. But prosecutors say that's not what the evidence shows. They say the frightened 10-year-old hid under his bed and was hunted down by Johnson. We have shell casings. We have blood. We have holes in the wall. In the little boys' room. Prosecutors say a cold and calculated killer that deserves to pay with his life. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. So if Johnson's convicted of first degree premeditated murder, he could face the death penalty. Prior to her death, Stephanie Willis worked as a home health aide providing care for seniors. She was originally from Beaumont, South Carolina. Her son was in the fifth grade and loved playing drums. Johnson called 911 on the evening of October 21st, 2018, and told the operator he had just shot two people. He said they attacked him and he shot them to protect himself. After an investigation, it became clear that Johnson wasn't under attack when he shot them. Detectives determined Johnson and his girlfriend got into an argument on what to watch on TV. During that confrontation, Johnson shot her multiple times. Her son tried to hide from Johnson by crawling under the bed, but he found him and shot him several times. Johnson then moved the bodies in an attempt to stage the scene for his phone call to 911 and his claim that he was defending himself. Johnson was found guilty of second degree murder for killing Stephanie and both first degree murder and aggravated child abuse for killing Ryan. The jury recommended the death penalty. The verdict is in guilty of two counts of murder. That's what the jury has handed down in the capital murder trial of Tyrone Johnson. Johnson gunned down his girlfriend and her 10 year old son three years ago. Well, now Johnson could face execution in the penalty phase yeah. of the case. Fox Machines' Gloria Gomez shows us tonight the evidence the jury weighed before handing down their verdict. 30 feet, 15 steps, hunting down a 10 year old child. That's what premeditation is. Heat of passion, not premeditation. There's been no dispute on who did it. A tragic situation that got out of control. One last pitch to the jury in the capital murder trial of Tyrone Johnson. Prosecutors say in October of 2018, Johnson killed his living girlfriend, Stephanie Willis, and her 10-year-old son, Ricky, during an argument over what to watch on TV. <laughs> A hysterical Johnson told police things got ugly when he claimed Stephanie blamed him for his son's recent suicide. She said, I see why the son killed 
Johnson said he felt under attack by Stephanie and claimed the child came in running into the master bedroom while he was shooting uncontrollably. Did he say you hurt my mommy? Is that what he said? Yes. But prosecutors say that's not what the evidence shows. They say Johnson went looking for the frightened child who was hiding under his bed. The shell casings are right there in front of the bed and they line right up with those two holes underneath the bed. Chilling images they want the jury to remember as they decide whether Johnson is a calculated killer or someone who lost control during the heat of passion. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Now, the jury did find Johnson guilty of first-degree premeditated murder and second-degree murder. And now Johnson could be sentenced to death penalty phase, uh, to death. The penalty phase of the trial will start on Monday. Mm -hmm.